Don't let the mini name lie to you. Mini projectors can give you a sharp and clear picture anywhere you need. They are defined by their portable and compact form factor, meaning they will cast a picture onto any surface while you are on the go. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these grab-and-go projectors, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. The first tiny little projector in this list is a ViewSonic M1 Mini, best for most people. The tiny electronics nowadays are more useful. We are sick and tired of big bulky projectors that cannot be carried or stuck on the ceiling. Again, thanking the technology world that has made the tiny versions of any device we can think of. The time has come for mini projectors to climb up the stairs. ViewSonic has designed this M1 model in the most compact way and interchangeable top panel. The cool tone teal in this case covers the top of it and the 360 degree stand supports you to put it where you wish to. Looking into the screen quality, it has a high definition of 854 to 480 pixels resolution but also renders 720p that can reach up to 1080p. The WVGA screen includes LED lighting and it leaves you to show the clarity anywhere. It's bright enough to be used in the daylight too, but I would highly recommend using it at night because the brightness limits the use of image size. The aspect ratio is 16 to 9 widescreen which is very common and decent. Let's say you bought it. We can use this for what? Do you want to have fun? Watch some movies? Got a presentation? No problem. You want to use multimedia? You don't even need a PC connection. When you turn it on, the screen shows five icons. Photo, music, movie, HDMI, and settings. The first icon can be used with a USB Type-A port. The nice things is in the music section. The commercially produced tracks show everything in the sound quality of a 2 watt single speaker with the least distortion possible. Lastly, the battery life ensures up to 1.5 hours of power and if the echo mode is on, it can last more than 2.4 uh, hours. But the power bank is your biggest backup. Pros, produces great sounds, high quality images, and the panels can be changed in three colors. Whereas for the cons, no tripod mount, Aptoid is lacking some apps, you can have hard times reading the small texts. Roll around the Galaxy with their Anchor Nebula capsule, best for the money. Tight budget? I get it, the coolest designs in the current market are coming out of this brand, if you don't already know. Represented in the shape of a can in two available colors like red and black, this projector builds solidly. The lens and the keystone correction control are on the top. The cool thing here is the mouse placement in the remote. You can control a cursor on the screen, but somewhat we ignore using it, but it's actually an interesting idea. Nebula is packed with DLPs in telebright algorithms to let you experience a great brightness level of 100 ANSI lumen brightness. This is something above the average for a small type of projector. The shades of any color look so natural and clear, whereas the contrast plays the role well in a dark roomy environment. Watch anything you desire, any streaming platform is ready to be used. Great movie nights are about to kick in anywhere. The size is maybe small, but the screen is vice versa. Being big nearly 100 inches, let your friends know you're coming over. Equipped by Android 7.1 OS watching any content from Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, or YouTube, but you have to go and download them from directly the capsule projector. Including 360 speaker built-in, the system works as a receiver and transmitter of signals from all directions. It is a real deal for the size. I wasn't lying when I said it does bigger things than its size. I would be a great choice if you're looking for something just for fun, work, or to feed your eyes with the design part, an entry-level projector like this one may be the best choice to go for. Pros, natural images, good color contrast, great sound quality for its size. Whereas for the cons, Chromecast is not supported. All right, if you care about the style and specs, then you should check out the Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12, best mid-range option. The Epic Vision's sleek design is impossible not to catch your attention. The mixture of leather and plastic in the shape of an ice cube gives it an elegant compact design. Besides the intention of a wall mount, due to its size, it allows you to move it wherever you wish to take it. Being built with a more advanced true 3-chip projector design, it shows the screen uses 100% of the, uh, the RGB color lights and transmits every frame in stunning color precision. Every tone seems natural at 1000 lumens and you won't be able to see any rainbow 
lighting or brightness problems. Advanced color correction doesn't let some contents get their way without passing the natural path in micro laser array technology. The second feature means it not only increases the brightness levels but enhances the blacks to appear in intensity. There's also eight auto picture skew and focus correction features where the projector analyzes itself and fixes the image geometry and when it comes to the view, it focuses off automatically to find out the best eye shot for you. The speaker on the side shows a powerful performance. This is related to the dedicated audio system by Yamaha. The audio is punchy and crispy, just like a soundbar effect. Connected via Bluetooth to use as a self-supporting speaker. Android, Apple, tablet, or PC. Plug it in and enjoy the rest of the show wirelessly. Plus, you have a Google Assistant to help, uh, to help you find what you're looking for or simply require anything. He's in position, always. Pros. Excellent design, fantastic sound quality, 4K and HDR are compatible and can handle some gaming. Whereas for the cons, can have been brighter, cost is high and not 3D compatible. All right, keep your friends close, but your XGIMI Halo projector closer. Best short throw projector. Having the 1.2 to 1 throw ratio Halo projector is released in a speaker shape. The aluminum gray chassis will definitely blend in with any decor of the house or even the size allows to port it and use outdoors too. Set it up in two minutes and let the show begin. The beautiful screen is stunning with a full HD resolution at a native rate of 1080 pixels. The scenes appear much brighter and the surprising fact is I didn't expect it to come out as good. The dark scenes on the other hand are detailed and every frame looks beyond great. The level of brightness is measured at 800 ANSI lumens which is pretty much 225% clearer than an ordinary projector. The keystone is corrected automatically to plus minus 40 degrees. Automatical, uh, vertical and manual horizontal turn lets the autofocus handle the job. Powered by Android TV, it enables you to access over 5,000 apps via Google Play Store, YouTube, Prime Video, Hulu, Disney+, HBO Max, everything is inside of it. It is noteworthy that Netflix is unavailable. You have to try other weird ways in order to watch it. It is built from dual 5 watt Herman Kardon speakers from exclusive sound quality. If that's not enough, put Bluetooth headphones or add a soundbar to it wirelessly. The powerful battery capacity can hold up to 2 hours of non-stop use on a 150 inch display, but the power bank is always here in charge waiting to be used just in case you run out of battery during the movie sessions. Pros. Great image resolution, 1.2 to 1 throw ratio, and highly bright images. Whereas for the cons, autofocus is harsh, slow to start, and costs a little too much. Closing today's case with Optoma ML750 ST, best overall. The design part is slightly disappointing. The brand usually makes minimalist style designs, but this time is straight up ugly. Maybe you may find it okay, it really depends on which perspective you look at. But in my perspective, it doesn't look pleasant. It serves two ideas, fun and relaxing purposes for home and traveling idea. The short throw specification projects, six feet visual screen in big 100 inch screen size. The setup is so easy and the auto keystone sensor is literally ideal for creating line straight images. Unlike outside look, the Insides are useful. It is sourced with uh, LED lighting technology where sharp images at great color accuracy are measured with 1280 to 800 pixels resolution and a contrast ratio of 20,000 to 1. Enjoy the 700 lumens of ranked brightness in lower lightning offices, conference halls, classrooms, and more. Supporting the Microsoft Office pack and the PDF documents, anything from the media is PC free. HDCast Pro feature is added for wireless screen mirroring, so you can portion the contents from Android, iPhone, tablet, or gaming console via HDMI input. It includes the WUSB adapter, but unfortunately that is sold separately. The audio quality is quite decent, only a 1.5 watt speaker is placed in the rear of the projector. If you want to increase the quality, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack is here. Plus, there are lots of sound bars to provide you with better sound. And with its 16.5 ms lag time, gamers will have to put the blame on themselves, not on the slow reaction time. Another surprising point is the projector's lamp light. It is rated pretty high at 20,000 hours. This is beyond good because the average ones are usually between 1500 and 2000. Pros. Quick 16.5 ms lag time, 20,000 hour lamp life, and good audio capacity. Whereas for the cons, unappealing design and fan makes some noise. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, stay safe, take care, and peace out.